Hi, my name is Chang Lee. I'm an application engineer with Trimac, and today we're going to be talking about five quick ways to save time by reusing sketches. Reusing sketches saves us time by enabling us to replicate sketch geometry that we would otherwise have to create. One of those examples is using sketch contours. With sketch contours, we can reuse um, the exact same sketch to create multiple features. So I'm just going to open up a sketch and create a rectangle here. And I'm going to create two closed contours, one at the bottom and one here at the top. And then I'm going to set those two extrudes to different heights. So here I can do an extrude for one of those closed contours by selecting the um, contour. And I'm just going to set this at a default height. And then I'm going to come back in and reuse that sketch. I can either into that sketch and create a feature from there or select my feature and then from there select my sketch and there I can click the close contour and bring it bring it up uh, there we go and then we have a second uh, extruded feature that is at a different height our second sketch tool is going to be editing our sketch plane with editing our sketch plane we can create a sketch geometry on one plane and then decide that we want that exact same sketch geometry to be placed on a different plane. So I'm going to create it on the top face of my bottom part. Then I'm going to just edit that sketch to be placed on the top part face simply by right clicking, edit sketch plane, and then selecting the top face there. And I'll just readjust my sketch real quick. Our third way to save time by reusing sketch geometry is called copy and paste. Now, copy and paste is a well-known tool in Windows, and as such, it should exist in SOLIDWORKS as well. You can access your cut and paste feature by going over to edit on your toolbar, and then you'll see that cut, copy, and paste exist as features. There also will be your hotkeys. From there, you can select a sketch that you've already created, copy it, then you can move it to your next point. So in, in this example, I'm going to move the circle I just created and place it on top of the bottom part face. If I copy the sketch and place the sketch outside of an edit, I will keep the 25 diameter dimension, but if I were to copy and paste the sketch geometry within a sketch, then my sketch geometry will not retain its dimension, as you can see here. The fourth tool that we will look at is called Pattern and Mirror. With Pattern and Mirror, we can reuse the sketch geometry to spread across our part. Then we can mirror it. So in this example, I'm going to create a hole in, on the bottom of my part and instead of creating multiple holes I am simply going to replicate the sketch geometry with linear sketch pattern. Simply click linear sketch pattern, choose the entity which will be a circle and then I will choose the direction which is defaulted to the x-axis. I will choose the edge of my part as a direction. I will give it a number of instances of three then I will pattern it. Once I've done that, I can all also use mirror entities to mirror my sketch entities to the other side of my part. I simply need a mirror about line, which I will use with my center line. And my sketch, sketch entities will simply mirror across that line. And from there, I'm just going to create some holes. The last tool we'll be looking at is convert entities. With convert entities, we can take the form geometry on one parallel plane and add it to another. So for this example, I'm going to take the tab with the holes cut through and create another extrude with the same geometry in a couple of clicks. First, I'm going to create a reference plane. Under the reference plane, I'm going to enter edit mode. And from there, I'm going to simply convert entities of the face of my tab 
and my geometry will illustrate on the sketch plane. Then I can go back in and grab the holes as well. And once I have those holes, I can just create a basic extrude up to next. Then I have the exact same tab on the other side with a few clicks, reusing my sketch and saving a lot of time. Thank you for watching 5 quick ways to save time by reusing sketches.